it's gonna be GG Riku versus GS Neep. So I'm gonna announce right now the password and the room name. So the room name is Custom LCL and the password is password. So let's go into the match again, guys. Password na ayo. Ito na rock na itsu. So all right, so I've given again the password and the name of the room. So again, it is custom LCL and the password is password. So P A S S W O R D. Just go into the room now, guys, because we are waiting. And we have more password. Okay. <laughs> so how are you guys? So I'm solo casting right now because for the rest of the casters, I don't want to play with them. So it's going to be. I think the plan they have here is. Mago one v one talaga si Nip and Rico in a solo lane. So we'll see who will win in that one v one. So my pagpastan kaya sa ayon kasi nyo ba guys sino mananalo si Rico ba or si Nip? You know the latter or yung majority of the votes would probably go on Nip because he's challenger. But you know what, Rico might surprise you guys. He has been streaming quite a bit as well as you know of those streams got a lot of games out. So ito na nagsi sila base na mga players natin ngayon and we are already full. So. REG to start this. Okay, so we're still waiting. Wow, one guy actually left, so he's gonna be a little bit feeling that because uh, na palitan nagad siya. Okay, so we're just waiting, guys. Here, um, of course, again, I of course GS Asura with an I, and kung hindi pa kayo na kapag. Uh, Follow sa aking Twitter account. Why not follow it? It's at Asrai PH, and of course my Facebook page is GS or Asrai actually Asrai PH Naren. So just search that, search that on Facebook and Twitter to get you know show some support from the other casters. Okay, so room is now full. Hopefully, we're not disconnect and we're not in pauses. And there we go. Now we have begun. So let's get into the bad and pick phase. Again, this is just a community match. It shall be between GG Riku or GS Riku versus GS Neep. So right off the bat, a Heimerdinger ban coming out of Riku. So we know if you guys have been playing custom games with us or, you know, most, um, most notably with Neep, his niche picks, you know, the picks that he has been using when he goes against us or even with us is that Heimerdinger in the top lane. It's very hard to deal with because of those turrets and how he has known most of the matchups and how safe Heimerdinger can be. Next ban shall be the Zareth here from Neep. So I think he's gonna spell something out of this because it is an X. <laughs> but we'll see. So long time shadow pedi pagusapat bindita because again it's a community match, so all the mans are coming out would be substantial or um, very how is, how should I say this? Uh, very basic bans the month. So yeah. Neep has <laughs> spelled out XHG and Riku here. She wait, is that only two bands from GS Riku? Okay. All right, so that's only two bands from GS Riku. So Riku here with the Yasuo and Neep with the Z hover over. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty exciting here. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> I can't believe. Rico first picked Ayasumo. Can be countered quite heavily. But Neep here looks like he wants to show off his Teemo skills. He said that he had a secret weapon, so it's the devil among us. It's the Teemo. You know? Lock in there from Zenko. He shall be the ADR here with the Misfortune. Uh, pretty strong ADR still, though she hasn't been showing up. Mm. In the, pro uh, in the pro games that we have in the LCL as well as the PGS, I would just say because of how much more effective Illusion and Ezreal in that bottom lane are because of their mobility. Granted that you can set up from with really nice, you know, um, bullet time ultimates, but it's just so easily countered if you don't uh, create your composition around it. Like if you go for Illusion and an Ezreal, you can build anything around it. For Misfortune, you do have to set it up a little bit properly, and I think like some of the teams here. Are having some difficulty with you know um, these synergy type compositions, talaga. So right off the bat, we do see a uh, Jana pick there from Skittles. So Riku, <laughs> she can possibly you know uh, just pick this Yasuo and then give it to someone else and then uh, swap so that he can counter Neep on this uh, Teemo. 
we'll see though. Because uh, if you can't time that blinding dart, even if he also does dash in, uh, possibly you can mitigate most of his auto attack damage. Let we'll see here. Uh, Dr. Mundo is taken here by uh, Jokese underscore 19. I don't have troubles with my um, names because, like, uh, I think Asari was taken, so I got, I got like went to Asari PH and then nobody took it, so that's pretty cool. And hover over the battle fight here, so it looks like for the side of Meep's team, they are setting up something for Zenko here to maximize his potency on that misfortune. And the Shen! So, the possible double front line here. So this is the rework Shen, we are now in a 6.3, I think 6.2 in the release the rework Shen. Um, jungle wise, Major he hit up and bounce away clear sa jungle clear niya. He has he doesn't stay healthy for long in that jungle. Granted the Marisol Shield, but Major he hit up and up. Maybe there's another build that you have to go for so he can sustain himself even longer. So it shall be the jungle shed here. And the Kogma for the side of Riku's team. So these guys are really watching LCL and PGS, so I gotta commend these people, you know, for Seeing what's strong as well as if they do read the meta, uh, the patch notes, they know what they're using here. Okay, so that's a mid lane Jana here for the side of Riku's team, is it? Isn't it? What? Okay, so it doesn't look like it. Riku did um, first pick the Oslo just for. Joke say here, so they kind of baited it out that we go for, going for a Yasuo, and then this actually might be a good matchup because she can mitigate the damage from Neep when she gets like level six with the Monsoon, especially Neep not having that ignite. Even if he has had that DPS or DOT with the poison, eh, we're gonna see. 25 seconds before we do get into that, I don't know, waiting phase. As the finalizing pick for Neep's team is the Leona. So this is a three-man frontline for the side of Neep's team. Lots of wombo combos. Like if they go in for the for the Leona Solar Flare and then follow up with Lewis G on that Malphite Unstoppable Force can set up Zenko and Neep for or Zenko there for a very amazing bullet time damage output. As for Neep, we do know that, you know, um, through the time. Teemo has been changed that his ultimate can bounce off each other as well as have a bigger range of where you can put it. You can throw it at range and that can set up Neep's team for really easy takes on um, on objectives. Especially like if you don't if your if your team your teammates don't build Oracle Lens and they don't you know sweep out Neep's um, ultimate. It can prove uh, difficult for Riku's team since like they do have a Mundo for that initial uh, tanking, but then if Nick like builds a Leander's Torment and then he has a, a variety or a ton of AP items, he can shred to that Mundo really, 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 really quickly. Okay, so we're just waiting here, guys. So after this community match, we are going into the LSU and UP best of three series. So again, we are just allowing these people or these players to finish their exams because again in the LCL as well as of course the PGS we do value that balance between studying and gaming it's a perfect balance the yin and yang you know you can't have uh, too much of a good thing or else you do allow yourself to break down talaga guys it's it, I know it does sound Alam ko na yan, but then you have to keep reminding yourself that because pag sinobrahan mo isang bagay na masarap or masaya, it can bite you in the butt later on. Uh, sabi ko na rin yan because kakatapos na ng Valentine. So makita natin kung meron na tayong mga tito sa katita sa November. <laughs> but I shouldn't have said that. I'm still waiting here for the match between GS Riku and GS Neep. So it's kind of funny that they didn't want to be one of the cast here. I was really hoping that, you know, our uh, sidelines burrito here will join us <laughs> as this game starts. Are you gonna you're gonna join me after uh, when the game starts? That's good. That's good. All right. So you are still 
uh, haven't shown the match and win code, and we are giving away the red card Twisted Fate Striker Ezreal, Ice Tobogan Porky, but we researched this a while ago, and Tobogans are actually, you know, the. If you watch like um, winter movies, kaita uh, uh, movies that are situated in winter times or scenario that is uh, during winter, like um, Home Alone 1, you know, like, see. Macaulay Culkin was like going down the stairs on this uh, wood na may curse sa harapan para hawakan. That's, that's what they call the tobogan. And then the bobsled is the one that is used for the Olympics, Winter Olympics. That's the one that's the metal thing, the uh, metal like tube thing. It looks like a capsule and then may opening just so that the, the, the riders can go through it and it's metal. So that's what they call the bobsled. And after that, we do have the All-Star All -Star Akali and the red card Katarina. So we have two red cards here. And these games are, I think, um, they're in the vaults, na? the legacy vaults. So having these skins, you know, just allows you to have some bragging rights over your um, over your friends. I mean, oh, ko to sa, sa LCL. Paano ba yan? Wala yung skin na to. Which is really cool. Because... Kasi yun din yung parang debate minsan ng mga tao when you have the skins. Mahal siya, maganda, pero lahat meron. <laughs> Tapos yung isa naman, cheap or mahal, pero yung iba, wala. Ikaw lang yung meron. Parang pag-ibig lang, you know? <laughs> I, I, oh my God. That sounds so wrong, but you, you can't say that sometimes it's true. Sa mga naloko na dyan, di ba? I, 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 if you guys know what I'm talking about, I sympathize with you. <laughs> Alright, so can we show the loading screen? Para makita ng mga viewers natin dito yung mga skins na pwede na ginagamit ng mga players natin. So, our community players here, kung ano yung mga binubaga nila. So, Neep here using that Omega Squad Teemo. It's the, I say like a reconnaissance theme because you do have the brush or the, the leaves over your head and you're all camouflaged and stuff. So we do have for barcode here, Blood Moon Thresh, Toss, uh, Skittles will be on the Hulk Mundo. Red using that Monarch Kogma, one of the, I would say, better looking Kogma skins. Uh, it looks ugly, but then because of its like, uniqueness and ugliness, it makes it beautiful or like amazing to look at. Similar with like, I think yung parang before there was a debate, like Malphite, yung kanyang Shamrock, this looks really, really terrible. It's, it's like a Malphite skin that's color green, like it's with moss and lumot, uh, mga But then, because it's green and then it like, just stands out like an eyesore, magala siya tignan. So, you do have Arn Solari Leone here for Serenity, and Gigi Riku isn't connected <laughs> for some reason. Pabilis internet, na, internet namin dito, so dapat hindi ito to. What now? Ah, hindi pa tang PC, I see. So, we're waiting. So, okay, so kayo guys there, who are you, th uh, who do you think will win this match? I mean, yes, Neep is, you know, a high tier player, but then this is a community match. We don't know the strengths, the fluctuations of how, or, you know, the me mechanics of these other players are. And we, we don't know how Riku will play on that mid lane um, Jana, because we did see that yesterday with AX against Imperium Pro Team Blue, which was a, a cheese pick. It actually worked out well for them. If you were watching before uh, League of Legends back way in like season three, Alex Itch actually put this out in his one of his competitive games and actually blew people away because like they were wondering, oh my god, this Hell Nigel just so painful and Zephyr, and then his shield was super, super thick and the monsoon just has so much regen that it actually made sense into some extent. But then, of course, you are giving away some of the, you know, that burst potential that burst mages do have as well as assassins. So it looks like we're gonna have here our first guest caster. Say hello, guys, to GG Burrito. Hello, guys. Yes, we also have our other uh, possible co-casters here. Na nakikisama lang sa amin. We have Nick Garena and um what's your what's your username? What's your IGN? Oh, Bostinek. <laughs> we have Bostinek here and Nick Garena. Yes. All right. So we're waiting here as GS uh, GS Riku is looking for uh, a better PC. 
or even a better man. Oh, what up? Oh, kumuhugot ka na naman, Asura. Hindi ako kumuhugot. Pinapatama ako lang na single siya. Yes, guys, she is single. Ayun, yeah, single guys, din ako, but I'm not, look, I'm not looking ladies. for an application, but maybe Rico is. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> so, Asurai, ang banggit mo ngayon Valentine's. Oh, kamusta nga yung Valentine's mo? Kamusta ka ba Valentine's ko? Hmm. Who's right? Well, I mean, sa bahay lang ako. Actually, bahay I, lang? Yeah, sa bahay lang, you know. I, I had a date with my PC, so it, 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 it was pretty sweet. na nainitan yung katawan ko dahil sa yung nung namalabas sa PC dahil sa taas ng game na nilalaro ko yung high, high, high quality graphics kaya alam mo yung, yung labas ng init ng PC ko yun na lang yung inano akong pampa, pampatiga sa lamig ng Valentine's I think a lot of our viewers here are gonna um, be sympathetic with me on that one kasi ganun din natin ginawa nila sa Valentine's No guys! Diba? Tipid kasi eh, pag, ano, eh, pag gano'n na ginawa mo. Paano naman yung mga long distance? Ay, nako. Long distance na ano ba? Wala naman akong long distance eh. Ikaw, meron ka ba long distance? Ay! Ay, ay o nga, no? <laughs> you, you, walk, you walked into that one, man. <laughs> Kamusta na ba long distance para sa'yo? Okay naman. Um, actually, nag-work siya. Basta wow. kailangan kayong dalawa uh, loyal sa committed sa isa't isa. <laughs> Baka yung last mo ba hindi loyal sa committed? <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, diyan nagsisimula ang lahat pag hindi loyal sa committed. Tama, tama. Pero tayo naman, loyal committed tayo sa mga LCL teams natin ngayon. Pati ang ating community match na maglalaban sa mid lane si GS Riku at si GS Deep. So we'll see if this Teemo can be blown away by the Janna or will his poison or the demon inside this, you know, this cutie, this Teemo. will unleash itself. That talaga meron tayong Satan Timo, ano eh, or like Demon Timo. I know it's kind of extreme, but, you know, in the longevity of my playing of League of Legends, I think it's a uh, just cause naman. So there's a leash here for Skittles. Will Red 430 last hit? No, they will just leash him and uh, I'm expecting Skittles here to say, TY, set up ng lupit ng ano mo. Okay, so... What? We're seeing right now that Jokese is gonna go for a very, I would say, uh, hindi, sabi natin, ano siya, may, may strat niya, eh, kasi sa extra pera niya, pagkabalik niya, BF sword niya balik, yung ano niya, oh. <laughs> yung item niya. <laughs> so, strategy niya pala yan. You know it. Okay. Pwede, pwede. So, bottom lane wise here, oh my god, Skittle's so low in HP, he might die. Okay, he lost, he lost it, last hits it. GG Riku. Ouch. Wow, even with the shield, not gonna be on par with GS Sneep. That happened. Okay. GS Riku going in again on GS Sneep, but what actually? Oh, she misses the Howling Gale. That was so bad. And now she's very low in HP, chugging on that potion. It actually went in for a Spell Thief's Edge. So she's more of, I will try to get more money from you. But GS Sneep. He has a bil uh, the ability ring, the Doran's ring, so or, yeah. So he's looking for the damage as well as that dual potential. The GG Riku here is getting very, very harassed here in the mid lane. Uh, okay na talaga na kinuha niya yung kanyang teleport rather than that exhaust. So hindi siya masyadong, uh, I guess, would get a little bit harassed. There is the Zenith Blade coming out of Serenity, but... Not follow through. Nice hook coming out of Barco there as Serenity is put to very low HP. Look at that damage from Red 430. Not even the slightest of um, counter du dueling there coming out of Zenko. He was just like looking. Okay, I will last hit this minion for you. Kaya low HP ka, I will last hit it. Para hindi, para hindi lugi yung sacrifice mo para sa akin. So GG Riku here. It has disconnected. Medyo natako na ata siya sa performance na ni GS sa simula ng early game. So, ano tingin mo dito, Borito? <laughs> ano na nangyari sa'yo? <laughs> Med medyo kinakabahan ako, guys. So, so, okay, um, dude, we're, we're chill here, man. It's been um, almost one year na, na since na last na guest casting ako. So, yeah. asensya na, guys. Pero I think nag-rub off naman namin yung casting prowess namin sa'yo, eh. So, di ba? Kasi lahat ng cast namin nandito kayo. So you have, you have been there for all the moments, man. So alam mo na kung paano mag-ano, mag-cast. Alam ko maglaro. <laughs> alam natin lahat para maglaro. 
So, si Riku. Ano bang balak ni Riku dito? Mag-AP dyan na siya? Parang yung sa kahapon, sa PGS? Yeah, exactly. Pero kumuha siya ngayon ng Spell Thieves Edge. And I guess in this matchup, hindi siya ganun ka ganda since Sneep is, well, is able to, you know, get the free hits. Pag hindi tumama yung Howling Gale, Riku is in a bad spot. Tama. So, anong kailangan na itong may Riku para manalo? Kailangan niya para manalo is magkaroon ng boyfriend na dito. <laughs> 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 yes, kidi. Ang kalahan niya dito para manalo is probably an early gank from Skittles. Kahit man hindi, ma hindi mapatay si Neep in the mid lane, it's just, you know, to alleviate that pressure na Neep is actually putting on to Riku because look at this item, is um, look at the pots that uh, Neep has compared to Riku. So kung nakapag si Riku, Neep can chug on those potions to mitigate the damage. As for Riku, she can only rely on that shield na pag nawala na to and Neep's um, Thunder Lord's Decree activates. Riku's in a world of hurt. Okay, so, pag 15 minutes ba, madidikyo din ba si Riko dito? <laughs> That seems to be the case here. So, Boss Tinik, ikaw, makikisama ka ba sa aming cast? Sure, why not? Yun, uh, yun, yun, nakasama sa atin si Boss Tinik. Ang susunod na lang si, ano, si Nick Garena. Nick, ay sorry, Garena. Garena. There's a nice knock up there from Jokes, eh. Grabe, ah. Kahit ba yung wala siyang items, nababuli niya dito si, si Luis G. There you go. Rico goes in with the... What the hell was that Zephyr? Wala pong damage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit, you know... <laughs> it's alright. I think Rico will forgive me with all of this trash talk. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. Ganyan lang talaga kami. Okay, sana mag-hate. Hindi kami, ano, ganyan lang kami. Parang playful banter, tawag doon. Tingnan muna natin yung discarder ni Rico, malay mo, late game pala ang plan ng Rico. True, true, true. So, we're here, here, napaka taas ng ano. Okay, so there's the damage from Riku. But I think she was forced to flash Skittles with a very delayed gank there. Who almost hits the effective cleaver. Might have allowed him to uh, close the gap in. Now, let's check what Riku is building with her skills. She's maxing out her Eye of the Storm, which is, I think, in this situation, really um, not good because yes she is mitigating some of the damage but then yun lang yung auto attacks and then yung kanyang blinding dark beneath. there's the dot as well as the thunder lord so it's pretty still pretty painful feeling ko mag relay lang siya kapag sa gamit yeah problem is Skittles a little bit too slow on the gamp there and Riku will be forced to recall as Neep gets himself minus he has advantage though wave has yet to push fully into Riku's uh, turret. So, pag nag-recall dito si Riku sa... nag-recall si Riku wow. into the <laughs> mid lane, pwede niyang makuha tong si Esa to. Though, she is... Wow, she's actually gonna walk back into her mid lane. That's gonna reset the wave there and actually ruin, uh, you know, the possible huge wave that Riku would, could have gotten there in that mid lane. Alright, so... Oh, I see. So they're actually going to swap lanes here because Riku's analysis tells her, her inner analyst is telling her na hindi ko kaya sinig dito because of my build as well as the skill path that I have chosen. So try na natin dito kamala fight so I can get my items uh, at least steadily or hindi ako masyadong mababully out dito ng malfight compared to me. Nag-switch ng lane yung Yasuo, pati yung Janna. Yeah, exactly. Ano nga yung... Na ano natin kanina? Cause chakong may gamit na si Yasu. Yes, sayo sa yun. Pero inisip ko talaga kanina pag kabalik niya sa lane BF sword nay. Para hindi sayo kung yung hindi niya pabili ng item. Galing yung inexpect kaya nay. Sayo pa sayo hindi yung yung 300 go ah 400 ano kada ba? Ay 475 gold, di ba? Nay hundred na lang BF sword nay. Oh si ni si nega. No way. Just engage in the bottom lane. But barcode here. Did play and took some damage, but here comes a flash out of red and uh, barcode. Did dodge the shadow ash coming out of the shed, but here comes the engage. But that's it, though, putting the damage and oh my god, oh, the flash away. First but blood. the first blood is just too much. Wow, so much committing is coming in from the side of GS Neep's team. And Riku even teleporting to the bottom lane, so she was a little bit too uh, late for the party. But they're gonna translate a dragon out of that, so pretty good there from the side of Riku's team. Good uh, teamwork. Good job, Riku. 
Good job, Reek. <laughs> okay, y'all, so missing some of his Steel Tempest. Actually, this comp from Riku's team has two Tornadoes coming out of them. Yes, so now we're switching into another co-caster, Nick Garena. Garena. What's up, Nick? Hi, guys. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Can you, like, say, uh, Omedetou gozaimasu? Omedetou gozaimasu. Yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, it's like parang okay kasi yung uh, Japanese voice sa yun. Eh. Alright, so we see here that Lewis, um, Lewis G going in with the ultimate onto Jokase. Will force it to flash another miss. Shadow Dash there coming out of Agent Alba. But Agent Alba, wow. Jokase still able to use his dashes. Actually, dashes over Agent Alba, but goes into the loving arms of Lewis G. And you will go down. First kill for the side of GS Sneep's team. Come on, guys! So you want to the air dito? Okay, lang yan. We want the viewer here. <laughs> so ako lang pala ang walang relation sa mga nagkakas ng uh, nagkakas for this game. Nahalata ako lang. Okay, lang yan. I survive. You have your PC. Yes, I do. Yeah. Does your PC have a name? Oh no, no. Oh. my PC doesn't have a name yet. Oh my god! I, I always see your posts. On Facebook, like spending Valentine's Day with my PC. Yeah, I really should give it a sweeter name. No, kaya maybe in this in this community match, ma maharap natin yung yeah. inaakin ako. So I'll probably get uh, I'll probably give you guys like a, a short um, specs overview ng ano ko ng PC ko. Uh, can't remember the name of the mobo though, but my video card is the GTX 970, so it's a pretty beast of a vid card, so it can play. Multiple games or a lot of games in Ultra. My RAM is the Hyper Hyper X8. Oh wait, one by eight GB RAM. I'm looking to uh, no, upgrade it soon enough para magyung 16 GB as well as yung dual channel para hindi siya nahihirapan sa mga processes ko. Oh, that's good for you. My my PC is fried. My wow. motherboard is not working. Another miss, Infected Fever there onto Neep, and he still has his flash, he's trying to get away, and well, his ultimate will allow him to do so, but he didn't expect his flash for that, so that was a really nice get coming out of Skittles. Here comes another engage in the bottom lane, but Zenko here might be in a good position to use that ultimate, but wow, that really nicely timed exhaust coming out of Barcode. Oh, oh. Will allow the damage to go through. Both ADRs get the kill, but here we go. There's the Alahu Akbar coming out of the combo. That's going to be job, Riku. the Riku. two for one in the bottom lane. Sorry. Yes. Riku forcing another flash out of her. Here comes Louis G oh. with the knockup. Doesn't even need Agent Alba there, but you know what? He's just going to prove the support. Uh, just in some moral support and get the last hit from Louis G. So it looks like. Right now, mid and top lane going in for Neep's team. As for the bottom lane, going in for Riku's side. So, what do we Because going into that late game, I would say that malakas ang side ni Riku because they do have the peel. Uh, even if she's si Riku here, if she can get her itemizations, she can just you know full support. Uh, red four. Yeah. Oh, uh, red for thirty there. Well, there's a teleport here from Jokase. Wants the blood onto Louis G, but Louis G has a flash. Goes for a miss uh, poke there. So that doesn't go too well. At least Mel pushing top lane. Yeah. Okay. So, who do you think will win this match? Uh, um, my co caster. Uh, I like Okay, so. <laughs> not even the chance to use the Lancer. That was fast. Yes. Uh, dun din lo bas yung potency talaga, or the yung pagkapetalis na sa immobility ng isang kogma, especially when he doesn't have the thresh in the silence to help him. He putting a lot of mushrooms in all of the sides, para hindi siya maggang sa lane. Here comes H Alba first time, oh, kamaran na dash niya, but Riku having that one soon helping her, but no, the loving embrace of that shield stun from Serenity will allow Neep for that. Finalizing all of the attack onto Riku. Now Riku, Riku in a very, very bad spot right now. 33 CS to the 95 of Neep with a one death on her. So that's 
really, really detrimental for Riku here. In the top lane, Jokase here actually is losing against Louis G because, well, it's a mouth fight against Ayasu. So, that's happening. Okay, so who do you think will actually win this game? Because uh, well, I really like Riku to win though, but I'm, I'm an MF player, so... Oh, oh double oh. lockup onto Neep ah, and oh, oh, Louis G. Neep almost goes down there as that was a that nicely was placed win wall from Jogase though. He actually lacked the damage to finalize that hit. So, you were saying you were a uh, misfortune player? Yeah. that late game, like, Riku's team is much more of a late game once they get their items. Yeah, especially the Kong. Um, Yasuo is a bit late on his item. That's He's having true. a hard time in top lane. And, of course, this Yasuo is... Oh, that flash from Kog'Maw! Yeah, this Yasuo is kind of unnecessary talaga in their comp because they have no one to knock up. Yes. So, he's gonna have a hard time, you know, getting that Steel Tempest in. But, you know, if he doesn't get fed, he can be very, very strong. So, we'll see. Problem with Siguro Dita is that, well, I would say Isa Saba counter Kakakuma would be Neep here. Because when you go in for that blinding dart, you yeah. are, you know, you can't auto attack for a couple of seconds. And that's that's opening here for the side of Neep's team to capitalize on it and possibly out damage um, Riku's squad. So, in the bottom lane, we do see here that Red is getting himself. First Circuit Greaves and the components for that Rage Blade. Now it's a three-man gag in the bottom lane. Let's see what happens. There we go. There's the box coming out of um, Barco there. Another missed spot from Agent Alba. That's like one out of four that the mama And Riku, oh, Riku, oh no. She's so low and she will go down. Wow, Neep is just bullying Riku right now and it feels like Riku is tilting already. Sorry to say that, guys. We gave him a gotta tell. He's saying that as it is. Go, Riku. Yes. Give her your energy, guys. Yes. Yes. And y if you haven't seen her video yet, yung kanyang uh, was shared by Leader as well. Yung voicings of the champions without, yeah. uh, you know, the. How do you say that? The editing? You should. It's on her Facebook. That's at GS Riku or Riku Garena. Ooh, nice! Solar Flare, they're coming out of Serenity, and Red will get blasted away as that passive from the Leona and the bullet time just shreds away at the HP of the Monarch Kogma. So, well, you were that uh, worm uh, go, uh, the Caterpillar that, that transformed into the Butterfly, but they did peel you out of your current skin now with that shred from the ultimate. So, you didn't know who Dragon there. Barco did try to do his best to get, go for the steal, but to no avail. Yeah. 3,000 gold lead in favor of Neep's team. <laughs> I can feel the, <laughs> the, I know, the essence of doom in your, in your sigh. <laughs> yeah, because I think that uh, Reaper's team is like, super behind. To think that the red team is the dragon. That's true. Not properly setting up the wards there as well. So, mess maayos yung pag set up dito ng Neep's team. Agent Alba though, kahit pa hindi tumat tumatama yung kanyang mga Shadow Dash. Um, I have to commend him. He's much more active than Skittles. I mean, he's allowing much more pressure for his teammates. Like, sa top lane, Louis G not having a hard time against Jokase, but then he just uses his. Um, his uh, United we stand and it just allows Jokase to finalize the kill and puts jo uh, sorry Louis G to finalize the kill and Jokase back uh, again to a bad position and look at that forcing him to flash away from his own turret and they're on the hunt do they have vision of him though yes they do top lane turret has gone down Riku here for the help and wow that deep um, bomb is just allowing him to dictate where are they going in nice follow up of skill shots or ultimate there from the side of Neep's team, that's the one kill as they're trying to follow through. Louis G pretty tanky here, so they have to use everything to kill that Malphite. We do finalize it with the range of Red 430. Nice positioning from the side of Riku's team, but 
Sneak Steam here has enough damage as well as tank ability to get that last hit. Look at that damage coming out of Zenko, and Barcode is just going to die soon. Lots of flashes in. Double kill for Zenko there, and that's an ace for two kills, mid tier one and top tier one going down. damage and um, I think uh, what you can see from the health bars that the red team has a bigger health than the blue team and the blue team is quite squishy with the uh, uh, Janna and Kogmao. That's true. Uh, problem though again, then the side of Kairiko's team like I said it, kulang HP bar uh, was on the HP bar still and yeah. Skittles isn't on that, you know, sweet spot where in that Malphite or that uh, Dr. Mundo can tank the damage of well Neep's team because they have an abundance of yeah. magic and physical damage though. Joe in here wants to go in on the Zenko. Nicely time make it rain will slow down the onslaught of the Osuo. Alright, so si Bostinik naman ang sasama sa ating ngayon. Sup, Bostinik? <laughs> so, Barco there has disconnected. Maybe some connection issues. Uh, honestly, guys, sa akin din, parang naka-experience naka ako connection issues. Like, I think like, <clears throat> like a few, uh, like a week ago at that, na naglaro ako ng isang, ng isang ra random ranked game. And then, walo. So players ng game na yun nag-disconnect. Natira lang ako sa yung vein namin and they were, we were able to win the game kasi wala kaming kalaban, wala kaming kakampi. Actually, na-experience ko din siya, like yesterday. Pero, ano nangyari din? Sabay-sabay talaga kaming lahat na DC. Tas wow. Weird. PHNet, please. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you guys do follow me or, you know, have me as a friend sa Facebook, may pinost ako parang poll na ginawa ng Inquirenet. Uh, inquire on their uh, newspaper na nakalagay doon we're ranked 62 out of 62 sa, <laughs> sa internet speeds in 62 countries so isipin wow. niyo naman yun <laughs> kasi like um like previous months i was able to go to hong kong and singapore like Big they bang. yeah no it was just it, it was for casting which was a really big thing for me but uh and then family trip in singapore but yung most notable na sinasabi nila yung um, speed. yeah internet speed dun sa, Hong, uh, in, sa Singapore airport was the fastest in the world in the in terms of those in, internets. Dun nakapag connect ako. Alam mo yung mga 300 MB na apps sa, sa Google Play. Natapat sa atin mga siguro one one hour to one hour thirty minutes. Tinig ng kol lang ako yung mata ko sa cell phone ko for like three minutes to order something sa sa, uh, sa McDonald's and then when I look at it tapos na yung download. Wow. Ganun kabilis yun. Yeah, so there's the initiate here from Deep's team. Nice follow up skills. Those only for the one knock up from Louis G. But that doesn't matter because Rico's team is getting decimated right now. Louis G is so tanky that even with the cough up shredding as much as he can, he doesn't end up have enough damage. He only has that Ginsu's rage, but Neep here in a bad position that he can get insta gift here if there's a hook that Barcode can connect. But still, they're fearing the wrath of Neep's team. It's a five versus three right now, as two team members have gone down. Feeling ko sobrang um, right now, medyo kulang talaga sa damage ng team. Kasi I don't know, parang every clash talagang sakto naman yung pasok nilang lahat. It's just that, you know. You know, kasi they're reliant, they're item reliant. Eh. You know. Even the <laughs> even the mid lane Jana is item reliant. Like. Ang, ang difference lang, well, obviously naman to, ng isang mid lane jana, isang support jana, is the AP items that you build on that mid lane jana para magi OP ang shield niya, ang heal niya, at ang damage ng Howling Gale sa kanyang Zephyr. So, if you don't have those, you're just going to be, not, like, magkakaroon nila kayo ng dalawang support na madaling mamatay, and you're just looking to the explosiveness of your skills to help your teammates. Uh, win the fights. Asurai, kamusta, Borito? Ano ba kailangan nilang gawin ngayon para maka ma maikot nila? Um, I would say patagalin nila hanggang sa late game ito Ay. para makuha ng items. Ay, kita ko na to, mamamatay si Nip dito. Tingnan natin. 
Pass. This for people, people going in on sleep, and like you said, he goes down. And Rico gets the shutdown kill. Yeah. So. Congrats, Rico. <laughs> She's probably beast moding right now. Who Nip? Kala mo ha? Si Nip kasi ani siya yung kukuni niya lahat, lahat ng nasero para wala matera. <laughs> um, we could say that Nip is a vampire right now. Yeah. So it looks like the members of each team are going in one by one. Louis G, they're very tanky. Look at that. Even uses the Unsolvable Force to get away. Ooh. Nice flash. Late reaction in the flash, though, but that, that sentence, an inch too slow. So they did put everything they had onto Louis G as the other members of Neve's team are getting this dragon. But Skittles don't, doesn't want to get or to give it to them. Finalize the hit. Ooh, Monsoon. Riku uses the Monsoon. And now. Exit time now for some members of the Leafs team. There's the full time actually shredding the HP of Marco there. But Zenko left in a very bad situation. He will go down. Riku with another shutdown kill. But here comes Neek. He's looking for the revenge. And oh my god, Red 430, you're not going to go survive that. Can you get the last hit? No, I don't think you can. As Riku Neep's team, or Riku's team a little bit too aggressive for that. Well, look at that movement speed boost from Neep. But Riku with the Howling Gale is just stopping the aggression of Neep. Alam mo, nakakapanghinayan yung Monsoon kanina. Sana doon na lang sa clash na yun niya nagamit. Para, That's true. Kasi, ah, nga. Sige. Tuloy mo yung sasabi mo, dude. Para meron siyang pang-disengage. Kasi inabal na sila eh. Na Nahuli sila doon sa, sa maliit na daan na yun. Doon sa bullet ni MF. Blues, yeah. And... Well, she didn't really have to use that Monsoon because they are healthy too, their teammates are healthy. So, looks like it's going to be uh, Neep's team getting a couple of kills as well as that bot tier 1 going down and they're setting themselves up for a siege into this bottom lane. Though it's only Neep and Serenity alive or here right now in the bottom lane. So again, the problem that they have for Riku's team is that we just said earlier that they need to kumuha ng mas madami pang oracle lens para mat ma clear out ito mga bombs nila so it's really annoying sobra <laughs> madaming so, nagalit si ano eh si eh, Timo eh yeah he's the he's a devil man pag nag solo ko ako talagang pag may Timo siya yung ano eh may global taunt siya eh uy si Timo patay natin si Timo <laughs> tama Alright, so 32,000 to 40,000 of uh, in the discrepancies of the gold. Kaya pa yan, Riku. Kaya pa yan. Patagal lang nila ito sa late game. And if they can get that Kog'Maw well, to, you know, get his items, they can have a chance at this. Though, mas, ma mas malit na yung window of error na pwedeng gawin dito ng side of Riku's team because they're getting pushed back into their own base. So, if they do die and then... Uh, Neep's team can get that tier 2 turrets. Mabilis lang nila makukuha ang mga inhibitors na yun. Tama. Ano ba yung ano ngayon? Ano ba yung update ngayon dun sa Ginsu Rage Blade? I don't think it's a... Wait lang. Is there an update for Ginsu's Rage Blade? I don't think so. Ang ano lang kasi niya ngayon is that para siyang nung introduce nila yung changes to the essence river it it works well on a lucian it's i think it's the same thing with the rage blade eh. na nung binago nila si Zin Zhao with his w having crit as well as like, having more heal na ata rage blade complements it very well kasi like you have a cheap item that you get a base damage and base ap of 40 40 ap 40 ad and then you can actually stack that with movement speed pa so Zin Zhao is one of those champions that benefits well from that kasi I think his heal, yeah, his heal does stack good sa sa dami ng AP mo. And then for like Kogma, it's the same thing with his W. Alright, so there's a collapser onto Luis G. Yeah, Luis G very tanky there. Nice double knockup coming out of Luis G, but he goes in with the double force and they get the kill onto Neep as Neep wasn't being defended by the members of well his own team. Now there's the engage coming out of Jokasin, but 
Louis G just shrugs it off. Now he's getting shredded, but look at that. He's so tanky right now. Neep gets the finalized kill from the grave, and here comes the bullet time from Ooh. Zenko. But you're not respecting Red 430, guys. You're not respecting that Cosmo who's Ooh. a pain in the butt off. Here comes the triple kill. Can it be the Quadra? He's looking for it, oh. and he gets it. So now it power looks like the, yeah, the power of the Cosmo is real, and he only has that Rage Blade. But no, he's uh, Rune's Hurricane. Runes, yes. Ito na. Ito na. The, com the comeback is real. But even with that, 8,000 de gold deficit back. So they still have a higher wall to climb. And I think the reason that they don't wait, you know, para manalo ang Riku's team is that Louis G does something like that again. Na hindi siya makakuha ng optimal uh, number of targets with that unstoppable force. Ilan ba yung nakuha niya kanina? Isa, isa lang ata eh. Dalawa? Isa? Isa, isa, isa dalawa. Tapos wala pa siyang follow-up and Neep uh, got caught out by Skittles as well as Barcode. Oh, really and cool. That's the Hell in Gale there. Yeah. So, okay naman. Mayroon pala akong nalaman ngayon ngayon lang na si Neep pala, si GG Neep. Yeah? Favorite niya pala si Neep. Really now? Yeah, sabi niya sa akin. Pati si Heimer Dino. Let's see, that's pretty cool. Pala... So he's a fan of the Yordles. I guess fan, it's fan true. of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's too much because hey, you're like talking into religious stuff. But yeah, you know, something that I'm fan of Timon. That I'm because I'm going to react. Done. All right. Yeah, we're just calling him and lang. I don't know about it. You anime na yun. I think it's our oh, uh, exorcist. Yung ali. Yung parang son of the devil sila. Ah. Na mga good, pero good guys din sila. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Blue, uh, blue Exorcist. I want Exorcist. Ah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched that anime, you should. It's pretty good. As well as uh, Soul Eater. It's pretty damn good to uh, watch there. Oh my god, Rico goes a little bit insane oh. there. And she will go down Easy. easy. Red 430, let's start, start to go in. Nice with Bull Ash coming out of Jokka. Say stopping the bullet time. It's Skittles trying to zone out the MF, but he is in a good spot to just shred HPs of Riku's team. And they go down, and that shall be a, a five man ace with only Zengo going down. Louis G actually knocking up Skittles, and Skittles, even if you're tanky, my friend. You're alone in this world and you will go down. Maling mali si Riku dito. I don't know why Riku positioned herself there. Yeah, yeah he, she's a... Uh, actually, her itemization is more of the supportive build. Talaga. She's not building any I AP items. Uh, aside from the Frostbite's claim. It looks like Magana Nerd Shot. Red Anomicon. Oh, wait. What is that item? Pag my Aether Wisp. I can't remember. Uh, uh, we'll see it later. Kasi lang pag Morello, finish codex sa kaan eh. Uh, totem. Uh, yeah. I really don't remember my support items. I don't, I don't AP, I don't mage support kasi I'm a bruiser type um, support. Kasi I, I prefer being in the front lines. Yeah, it's prefer easier. Hindi ba yan yung Oh, can be actually. What? Medyo nabaliw dun si Zenko. So they're pinging out the Baron. Uh, Neep isn't in a position to go for that. Let's have teleport so he can recall and then have full HP to go. Uh, recall home, home guard into the fight or set up a bit of uh, traps there. Napaglabas nila sa Baron, nila na silang buhay. Louis G has his ultimate up. So 430 there. A little bit too aggressive. Uses his ultimate to spot out his opponents. So it's a 4v5 right now. Uh, 10 seconds before the MF does come back online or respawn. Alright, so. They were pinging out the Baron, but they were pinging out the Baron. Especially that they're not you know, tanky enough to actually. Um, Soak up the damage from that Baron. Neep's itemizations, though, make him pretty damn tanky. 
Starax Gauge, and then all, all attacks with items. So his DPS is quite insane right now. Ooh, Ultimate goes in on the 430, gets the knockoff on Zip, follows up by Serenity, and the Ultimate comes out of Riku, but Fed will not heal her quickly enough as it now becomes a 45 and barcode even <laughs> DCs from this game. And it's just going to be them going down left and right. Skittles using his ultimate to just walk away. But there's a nice taunt there coming out of Agent Alba. Skittles a little bit too regenerative, regenerative as he tries to escape from Eep and from Agent Alba. Where the other members of Eep's team are going for that Baron. So where is the... It's Lewis G and Serenity going in for it. So two tanks. Under Baron, not the right, best by so Now we do see that Neep is taking Baron. <laughs> Neep doing lots of damage onto this Baron right now, getting down really low. Will he die? The enemy team is up in a couple seconds. Yasuo and Janna have their teleports available. Baron will fall. The entire team is low. Let's see what happens. Teleport is going in. Both teleports down. Here comes Janna. Runs away quickly, but Yasuo is here. Dies onto Neep, but gets blinded. Will he die? Neep! So much damage! Oh my god! What a god. And he gets the other kill. Easy cleanup from Leaf right there. Yeah, that and was pretty insane there from Riku. Yeah. <laughs> he just he teleported in to go down. Alright, now getting back into the game, we do see that the Baron buff has been taken onto Leaf's team. And it's a Kog'Maw. Wow. Double man knockoff right now. It's going to be the Leaf's team collapsing in. And the box will contain them for a little bit. But you know what? It's like you're containing a teenager in a playpen. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> They're too big for the playpen. They can just walk over it. Yeah, exactly. That's what they did. Yeah. <laughs> so Neep here, with his multiple hits on that Runa's Hurricane, getting the blue buff while destroying the pink war. That was really uh, sleek. Yeah, really nice use of the Runa's Hurricane by Neep right there. You really have to give him kudos for his ingenuity. Ingenuity. Yeah, that word. Yeah. Here comes Lewis G going in like a dog he is. Come on, let's see some G action. There he goes. He's slapping away at Jokase. He's put the low HP. Here comes the bullet side, making it the golden side for the members of Eepson. Here comes. Where is Neep? Actually, in the top lane. Never mind. Oh, Neep's just farming the top lane, however. They do need to be careful as Neep is coming. Kogmao, run! Neep is there. Wow, one, two, three, dead. And here comes Neep again with that cleanup. Lots of damage. The burst goes down onto that Yasuo as well. And, it's and that is an ace. It looks like that's going to be the game right there. <laughs> GG, well played. <laughs> yes. And that is game. And we see that Neep is so strong and doesn't even have to be in the fights. <laughs> win the game to actually win the game. <laughs> so GG, well played, ladies and gentlemen, as Neep's team. Win that fight 48,000 to 66,000, 16 to 38 in kills. So, that does conclude our community game. So, sa lahat ng mga sumale, we would like to commend you guys. Um, I'll be saying a roll call here. Slow for the side of Riku's team. Drum roll, digga, 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 whatever. Um, we have Jokase underscore 19 for the Osimo. Skittles for the Mundo. Uh, Thresh Barcode playing on that Thresh and Red430 on the Kogma. As for Neep's team, we have Louis G on the Malphite, Senko for the Misfortune, uh, Agent Alba for Shen, and Exile Serenity for Leona. So, Burrito, any last thoughts? Para sa mga Riku fans dyan, support natin si Riku, panalo pa rin sa puso namin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, panalo ka for You have lost, but uh, you lost the game, but you won the hearts of the people. The, the League of Legends champion, <laughs> People's Champion, Riku. <laughs> Alright, so that concludes our community game for this evening. We'll be going into the best of three match between the LaSalle University versus University of the Philippines. So guys, wag kayong tumigil panonood namin. Um, hopefully, we finish this match uh, fast. Uh, if ever, so that we can maybe Masonic Bomb is a Rumble Royale community today. But uh, we're, we're saying congratulations to the Rumble Royale. And hope you guys are enjoying there. So, again, I'm just Astro with the night, and I'll be right back. The new champ is a girl, but she looks like a man. The spells are so much text that I didn't understand the world. 
seen her lore She'll never be alone while she's fighting in lane She's got Nagakaboros, that's a hell of a name, hey And if you see it run away One, two, three, the tentacles surrounding me They're smashing me to pieces while she's gaining back HP One, two, three, the tentacles I must defeat so that I'm finally free Till 
she said so Gonna chase you down, hammer to the ground Gonna chase you down, hammer to the ground Hey, did you see how hard I fly? Did you see how hard I fly? Did you see how hard I fly? You can't escape from Poppy You can't engage on Poppy You can't escape Hey, did you see how hard I fly? She's gonna Take that penalty Perfectly. Yeah, I'm gonna think. 